shit you bought it <laughs> Nicolette's welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new today I'm really excited about this video because it is going to be muffin top hacks or love handle hacks and how to just get a smaller waist because I know the belly region the love handles region is an area that a lot of people struggle with and you guys requested this so I decided to do it for you guys I've done a ton of these videos so I'll link those in the description box for you guys thumbs up if you want more videos like this because I'd be so happy to do it and before I begin there's this thing where I do if you go on my Instagram right now you follow me tell me you're coming up from this video on my latest photo I will go spam you just of course make sure you're not private because I probably am not spamming you because you're private so just a little FYI I was gonna say for your information that's like really weird just a little FYI but that being said I'm not gonna make this intro super long so let's get into it I'm just gonna share with you guys some of my clothing hacks as well as exercises and just everything you need to know to target that area and region diet and exercise is super important when you're trying to target your love handles or that area or region it's super super important and one thing that's really important is making sure you're staying hydrated a little hack I have for you guys is to buy a liter size water bottle and then plan to drink two of those a day so you kind of know how much you need to drink a day because sometimes you can get lost if your cups are different sizes or things like that so I suggest buying a water bottle that's a liter size so then you know you have to drink that amount for the day to make sure you have enough water consumption and that leads me to the next thing something I do every single day is I love to have tea every single morning I have been doing the fit tea I've been doing the 28 day detox I've done these a ton before and I absolutely love it guys I just wanted to say thank you to fit tea for sponsoring this video but the reason why I love it is because I just find that it doesn't make me as bloated and at first off I love to have tea and I also love these teas because the one I'm showing you guys right now it tastes super good and as well as it makes me feel not bloated it's said to be a fat burner and it's also said to improve your immune system as well as soothing and cleaning out your digestive system so you can either have this every morning with or without your breakfast or you can have it right before a workout over here I'm just having it with my breakfast I place the tea bag into the cup I let it sit for three to five minutes you can have this hot or cold but I preferably I enjoy hot tea that is just my thing and I just really like this because it helps me feel like I'm not bloated in the stomach region and a lot of the times you can look a bit heavier just because you're a little bloated so I will have the link to fit tea down below so make sure you guys go check that out in the description box as well as they do ship international I've worked with them before and I absolutely love fit tea it's probably one of my favorite teas out of the tea toxes that I've tried. Another one is to eat regular meals. Diets do not work once again. So it's said that you should eat small but regular meals throughout the day. This will help prevent a blood sugar spike. And if this happens, a lot of the times this is what leads to weight gain around our middle region. So if you want to get rid of our love handles, you need to eat regular meals throughout the day. And I would say I like to stop eating my meals at 8 p.m. And then eating a good breakfast is in the morning is essential. Well, one of my little tips is to eat oatmeal in the morning because it's super high in protein as well as fiber and the little tip for you guys is don't ruin it by putting a ton of brown sugar on it or maple syrup what I like to do is I put a little bit of almond milk and then cinnamon on top and it gives it a little bit of flavor but you're not drenching it in sugars and things like that and defeating the purpose but now I'm gonna share with you guys a ton of exercises I was able to film in my gym so I am showing you my favorite exercises that target that area I definitely recommend trying these whether it's at home or at your gym the next time you're there let me know if you guys like these but I'm just gonna get into the exercises if you do want to get rid of those love handles and have a smaller waist Cardio is super important, especially doing HIIT cardio, which is doing high intensity intervals. But I'm just doing the Stairmaster because I absolutely love this as a form of cardio and basically do whatever you enjoy. But cardio, you definitely have to add into your workout routine if you want to see results. This next exercise is actually called the dying bug and all you have to do is bring in your knee and then do the opposite arm. So you're going to bring the opposite arm and opposite leg, bringing in your knee and then extending your arm and do three sets of 20 or however many you want and you will really start to feel the burn in the stomach region. For this next exercise, it is called the wood choppers and all you're going to need is a dumbbell. You're going to extend the dumbbell all the way up and you're going to hold it above your shoulders and then you're going to twist and this is really going to get rid of those love handles and in the end help make your waist smaller. It's just really going to define everything and once again, I like to do three sets of 20. 
Now moving on to standing side crunches. So this really targets the obliques and it's kind of like you're doing a crunch but you're standing up and you're gonna make sure your knee comes up and your elbow goes to your knee. And make sure you guys of course do both sides and do the same amount on each side. And lastly, I like to do planks and to make it a little bit harder, you're gonna take an exercise ball and try to balance on it. So you could do this for about one to two minutes and just try to do it longer each time. And this just really helps your core and everything on your stomach. Move on now to clothing tips. I like to add clothing tips at the end of these types of videos just because maybe you know you don't have time to exercise and you have an event or something like that and you want to look your best. So these are some of my clothing tips when it comes to the love handle region and the little muffin top region that we may have going on. <laughs> the first one is to wear high waisted pants just because this divides your waist and hips really well. I just think high waisted pants look flattering on all body types and it just looks so good on everybody. So I definitely recommend having high waisted pants in your closet. The next one is to stay away from body hugging clothes so super super tight clothes definitely stay with clothes are fitted not super loose but not super super tight because sometimes when clothes are too tight you can see the bulges and it's just not flattering for anyone so making sure that you have clothes that fit you properly and don't focus on these size because I find if people see that it's a size small and they're getting a large they're like oh but I'm usually wear a small so don't focus on that the size does not matter that doesn't tell you anything so just look at what looks good on your body and don't focus on that size because I know a lot of people can get really discouraged with it and I think that you shouldn't because you're beautiful the way you are. My next one is don't wear underwear that's too tight or bras that's too tight because if you do this this can lead to bulges especially if your bra doesn't fit you properly it can lead to little rolls and things and then you could see it on your shirts and it just doesn't look good so making sure your undergarments are the right size and this also leads to avoiding pants that don't fit you getting super small pants on the waist and it just leads to, leads to rolls over your pants because your pants aren't fitting you properly so it's all about the fit and not trying to squeeze into something super super tight wear pants that fit you on the waist because if it's too tight this happens for everyone where you start getting rolls over the waistline and that's something that that will really emphasize your love handles or emphasize that lower belly and lastly a last little clothing tip is to wear a flannel or wear a sweater around the waist the bulk of the sleeves will cover your love handles as well as any existing bulging that you may also have but those are all my tips and hacks for you guys I hope you enjoyed it I hope it really helped you out because I know that's a region a lot of us tried to work on and I know you guys requested it so I hope this was helpful for you guys but don't forget to give that thumbs up so I know you guys liked it and I can do more for you guys and also if you want join the Nicolette's fam jam by clicking the subscribe button down below and I do upload every other day here on my channel but I hope you guys are having a fabulous day evening or night whenever you're watching this and I'll catch you guys in my next video bye